Hey guys, um, I hope that you really enjoyed the workshop. We went through a lot of things and um, I hope that you've been able to really dig in the material that I gave you and that you've been able to learn and really um, get a better understanding that the art of hip hop has these different layers and these possibilities for you guys to grow with that major. Right now, we're in a different space, different environment, and I just want to give you a little more, you know, just spark your mind so you can reflect on other things and just have more substance rather than just the practical side. In order to create something pure, you have to be true to yourself. And a lot of uh, artists are not completely true to themselves. That's why, you know, a lot of people wonder for instance, in dance, how do you find your style? How do you create? The only way to create something that is yours, that belongs to you, that is fresh, original, you have to dive into yourself and comprehend why you started, why you want to do it, and where you want to go. And um, those, I believe, are the key to really find yourself and be able to express something that is yours and something that is very fresh and very unique to yourself. I had three main stages during my process. The first one was what I call the awakening. After being awakened to, you know, emotions and everything and being able to really create and be uh, um, having more heart linked to that creation. Then the second stage, um, I'd like to call that understanding. Um, I had to change my perspective on certain things because I was fixated on being a son of a box and that box was just restricting the things that I could do and the things that I could become. So I had to realize, okay, why did I start what I'm doing? Why am I still doing it where I want to go? And um, why do I love it? And those reasons made me understand that I started because, first of all, because that art form made me feel free. Freedom does not happen in a box. So I broke down, you know, that was the first step. I broke down those, that barrier, that box, because I, I wanted to be free and I wanted to express freely without any restriction. That was the understanding. Third part was um, wisdom. You know, um, first you get knowledge, then with knowledge you get understanding, and then with understanding it becomes wisdom if you can apply it. My knowledge was um, the awareness of emotion. My understanding was that I wanted to be free and create without any restriction, and the wisdom was to apply the stages that I went through, because. I mean, I think there's one element that has been lost too, completely lost. You know, um, in hip hop, you got um, MC, DJ, B Boy, Graffiti. And the fifth element that has been forgotten is knowledge. Okay, and uh, why I'm saying that it is very important is because you have a lot of talented people, a lot of talented dancers and everything. but. They don't, they don't think. And uh, if you have talent, if you want to capitalize on your talent, if you want to, to then reach out to the mainstream, you have to be smart too. Because that's, a lot of people wonder why this dude that, you know, doesn't have any skills, any talent is making it, is because that dude was smart. But a dude that had talent was not smart. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you cannot only, re, you know, you cannot only, um, uh, rely on your skills if you want to make it. You go, you gotta add some brain into that if you actually want to capitalize on your skill. Otherwise, you're just uh, gambling on the lucky factor. So you're lucky, you're talented, somebody sees you and you make it, but that does not happen to everybody. So if you got a talent, be smart. And now we know we, need, we live in a world in an era where everything can be done online. You have a talent, you can just capitalize it online without having to go somewhere or to even like send a letter or make a city. You can actually do everything online. So people just need to think a little more and um, keep pushing because when you're really talented, the mentor won't come to you because they would want to capitalize on what you have.
as a dancer myself and as a person that is part of culture, this what the opportunity that you have right now, the possibility of like getting my workshop online without even coming to my classes, amazing. In order to survive, we need to support our culture. So if you want to get more content like this, you want to be able to uh, learn from people that you would not be able to fly to because you live in South America or China or wherever that you live, you have to support the culture and share that video with your friends, pass the message, um, make them register and just you know make it blow up so you'll be able to give that platform uh, bigger resources to provide more for you guys. You want to get more, you want to learn more, you want to make hip hop survive, you have to give into the culture too.